Hello everyone, my name is Emma, and welcome to First Look Reviews. Okay, so this week we are doing Suits. Well, I'm recording Suits. So this game is a... RP, it's called, the main, the whole thing is called Suits and business, a, a Business RPG. Uh, so this was made by uh, Technomancy Studios. And it's basically, well, the summary of it is corporations control the entire, entire global government. Injustice has inspired a revolution in Suit City. Follow the journey of a businessman's descent into corruption. Okay, so, yeah, this game, RPG, uh, it's a dollar on Steam, so it's probably going to be, like, a recommendation. <laughs> if it's, act like... Normally, for games one dollar, they get like the like the developers don't really either they don't want the money or like they don't think the game is worth that much, and they'll get lots of people on it like angry about paying amount of money um, for a shitty game. So I'm not quite sure what this could be, uh, but yeah, the, the Steam stuff. So it's very positive with 246 reviews. It came out. Uh, the 5th of Jan 2016, so about a week ago, well, 10 days ago. <laughs> um, it's got trading cards and it's got 35 achievements. Okay, so I'll get, I'm, yes, I'm in the game, right. Uh, so I'll play now. Okay. I've never been one for this type of, these type of games. So I'm not sure how I will fare with it, but... I guess we'll just see. It does have a really nice start to it. It's like literally, someone's actually just gotten a pencil and drawn everything. This looks really weird. Are these are these sandwiches or I'm confused. Suits. So unfortunately, this isn't recording fraps, so hopefully the recording's good. Uh, welcome to Suit City Business School. Right, okay. Um, since corporations control our government and society, it's business or bust. Now please provide us with your name so we can make your name tag and get you out into business world where you get to work. Uh, for the rest of your life. That sounds great. Uh, press X to backspace, press space to select. Okay. Oh, well, I don't want that, so it's X. Ah, uh, what do I want? Zama. As always. Boom. And. That's an odd name, but whatever floats your boat. Right, it says it with every name. Make sure you pass this course. If you fail, the suits will have you sent to the factory fields to work the assembly lines. Doesn't sound good. Mr. Toots? What? Um, hello, Zama. Welcome to your training course. So, man so you may or may not know how to walk. Okay, uh, some suits have, haven't have been fully cooked, so we have to show them how to fall in line. Use the arrow keys to move towards the exit. Okay. Um, congratulations, you can walk. Yay! Now you are ready for the next lesson. <sighs> walk over to me and press the action key. Um... Space or enter. Space. Yay, you did it. Go talk to your fellow classmates to see what they have to say. Uh, as in these little things? Will you be my daddy? You, uh, you only exist to work. Wow. It's only going to cost me $200,000 to graduate business school. Wow. 
Mr. Toots, Toots says, if, you, if I work hard enough, I could become a CEO. That's awesome. Great. Never stop working. Working is life. Hey, mister, I made this paper hat just for you. You got a paper hat. To access the menu, press escape. Menu allows, yep. Uh, I got equipment and equip the hat. Right. An innocent child made this for you. Can I do anything about it? Oh, equipment. Okay, so... Optimize? Yay! You did it! I hope you made new friends. The kids seem to love you, apparently. Uh, you can also interact with many of our objects throughout Suit City. Try it out on that crate over there. When you're done, you can move on to the room. To get there quicker, you can press and hold shift to run. It's a good exercise. Yay. You found a sandwich. Some crates contain useful items. Some not as much so much. Oh, another child. Can be a strange noise in coming from a crack in the wall. What crack in the wall? Oh, that crack in the wall. Can I save it? Is that a thing? No, apparently I can't. Mr. Nubs, I've been trying to dig my way out of this secret room for over 15 cycles. I don't even know what that is. Um, I only had my bare hands. Now they're just... Yuck. Um, I'm getting out of here. Mr. Nubs kicks over the teacher's office. Kicks over... Okay. Does that mean I can go in here? Hey, how did you get in here? Well, I'm glad you're here. My stapler has been acting up. You think you can take a look at it? Well, I need to fight... I need to fight a stapler. That's a thing now. Never really keen to these things. Pokemon probably the only one that I've ever actually liked being one of those fighter things, whatever they are, they're called. Promoted to level two. You did it. You passed the final test of our business school. The final test. I when I have to read a lot, I always get you start yawning. The final test is to defeat a stapler. That's not weird to anybody else? No? Okay. Just remember, some people use t tech points. TP t uh, recharges you as uh, recharges as you battle, whatever. Uh, other use... Other use FU. Fuel units. Yay, that, that's actually... Okay, then. FU can only be refilled by drinking plenty of water. You're now ready to graduate. Yay. Oh, my God. Congratulations, class site. Of cycle 404. You are all going to be businessmen. Great business. If any of you had parents, I'm sure they would be proud. Oh, wow. Whoa, that guy's fat. Lone Renzo? What? Hey, teach. I just got a call from the CEO. You mean the CEO of the office district? No, not that CEO. Financial? There are three CEOs in the financial district, and one of them, so, not one of the, what, okay, so, um, <coughs> no, the supreme CEO of the entire city, oh, the, the CEO, he has ordered us to recall this cycle's batch of school children, you might not want to watch this. Ooh. 
Well, you know how it is. It's just business. Yeah, I got achievement, graduation. Oh, this is the... God damn it. Eh. Hello, is this Dama? I heard that you graduated business school at the top of your class. Apparent well, everybody got killed off, so all their grades would have been cut off as well. So yes, I was the best and worst in my class. We have a job opening for an executive salesman. Looks like it's just been filled by you. Head over to the office district and meet me on the 14th floor to receive your first task. Oh, before you go, no, before I go, I should tell you, you can use these phones to save your progress. Yay. Okay. So, I'm... Um, normally I'd play for another, like, 20 minutes or something like that, but I'm not quite sure I want to... Well, like... I'm not sure how much I, of this game I need to cut out and stuff. Because normally I record for 30 minutes and cut out 10 to 15 minutes, but I might just record for 20 minutes. Come a little closer, friend. Hey, do you think you can burn these papers for me? Yes. Great, here. You see, tax fraud papers. Just go down to the basement and find the boiler room. Come back when you're done. 14th? What? Why did I say 14th? Go to your bot. What? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's my boss, apparently. Hey, kid. Good to finally meet you. I've got your first assignment. It's fairly simple, but don't be overconfident. I've seen too many good salesmen retire early because they underestimated their target? I mean, cuts. Oh. Oh, okay, I get, I get what I was going to go for. Um, for what we know, the target is located in housing area 42A on the 52nd floor. We've got an... Oh my god, I have to remember all this. Uh, we've received... We've got... He'll point you in the right direction. Now go make the sale. I'm not paying you to stand around 42A. Okay, so I'll do his stuff later, I guess. Oh, oh, whoops, wrong one. Um, 42. How do I even find that? It's bike shop. Oh, get out of that. My arms fell off. I'd call emergency services, but I don't have any arms. The medical bills would cost me an arm and a leg. We can't afford that without my arms. What the fuck? Okay. Sure. A house. Red house. Intern T. My brother Donny lives in the financial district. He's been very successful ever since he got a small loan. A million dollars. A small loan? That's a lot of money. Jesus. What the hell? Wife beater Peter. Attack? Slaps you. Oh my god, I'm dead. Case toss. Missed. What the fuck did I... What did I... What? Terminate, termination letter. Employee number 404's position has been terminated. Employee number... Right. Uh, geez. Okay. Lock in. Not going to that then. So what do I... A hundred bucks. Wow. Another hundred bucks. Okay, so... I'm not very good at this game at all. <laughs> it's not that easy either. 
um, in a way, I, I can say, like, it doesn't, um, so for a dollar, it's okay. Um, I will probably most likely keep playing it because it's an okay looking game. Uh, this is a very short video because it's uh, di different. <laughs> uh, so I did show you the the first few, first about 10 minutes of the game. It does have a lot to it. It has an extreme, uh, it's got a big hub where you, uh, it has all the districts and you have to have like key, like key card type of things to get into each district. Uh, the, only, the one big problem about this uh, with RPGs, when they have like missions and that, you don't know what to do. Nece you don't necessarily know what to do. It's um, normally, yeah, normally with RPGs, you it tells you what you have to do. It like has mission logs and stuff. This game does not, or I had didn't actually find any mission logs. That's the biggest problem with this game that I had. Uh, it, yeah, it. It didn't really do much for me, uh, mostly because like I did I like I remember forty two A, but that's it. Like you need to write down everything. Uh, I'm guessing just to know like if you've got items in your uh, thingo, then you know what to do. Uh, like they can prompt you to know what you do if you've got my memory, but you probably don't. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so like it seems like an okay game. It I did play about twenty to thirty minutes of it. Um, just like going around seeing what everything is, it does have uh, jokes and stuff. There's a lot of humor in it. Sometimes it's funny, like sometimes I chuckle, or sometimes it's just really weird. Uh, like the lore of this um, world is extremely weird. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I de definitely think that for one dollar, it's definitely good. It will because it has a lot to it. I know that because, like, you can talk to random people and you get uh, missions, like, oh, can you please go and do this for me? And like, oh, okay, sure, I'm everybody's slave now. Just go and do that for you. Uh, so, yeah, like, the fighting is really weird. There was a wife beater. Uh, I ended up losing to him because he, like, KO'd me in, like, three moves. Uh, a bunch of coffee mugs, like, floating coffee mugs. So I do need to, like, level up and stuff like that. Um, or get promoted as uh, the thing, or the, the, the game's levels are. So, yeah, I definitely reckon it's... It's definitely worth the $1. I can't believe the developers have gone for the $1 thing. It's got nice, um, like, music and stuff like that. They work with this dystopian world, uh, dystopian business world. Uh, it does look okay. It looks weird because I've never seen this type of style before. Uh, and some places do look like the hub. It looks like just a bunch of caravans um, as the ways to get to each district or whatever, so uh, it does look really weird, but it did impress me enough to like this game, but be a bit off about it as well, be mostly because of the quest thing, like, the main quest told me to go to this target at 42A of something, 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 but I can't remember the rest of it, and so I'm guessing you need to have a notepad, which I actually do, but that's got all of the information of the game about it. So, yeah. Uh, other than that, it's... I'm gonna say it's definitely worth a dollar. Like, a dollar... A dollar games uh, are normally... short. This one seems longer. It definitely seems longer because I've been playing for like 30 minutes. Like 20, 20 30 minutes. I can't remember. I've been out. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I'd recommend it uh, as a, well. It's only because it's only a dollar. If it was like five bucks right now, I would be like, no, oh my god, I cannot be bothered. Like, uh, I would not be bothered uh, recommending this game at the moment. But yeah, so uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video um, and you like this little series, just like the video. <laughs> Don't know where I was going with that. Uh, next week. If I don't find another game uh, to play, it will be... What do I have here?
Silence of the Sleep. I've got to like it. There's a ton of things here. Like games that I've bought, I put them there. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, Silence of the Sleep, that will be a new series. Hopefully uh, by then I will finish other series of games as well. Uh, but that will be like a start to the series type of thing with a first look. Uh, unless I find another game that I'll, uh, that I'll do a first look on. But right now, I don't have anything like that. So, yeah. Uh, like my page on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, if you like... No, never mind. Uh, the game, as I said, game's dollar on Steam. I will... And it has trading cards because I just got one. <laughs> uh, I'll put the link in the description below. Worth it, I guess. If you like RPGs, you'll probably like this. A world. Uh, it does look doesn't look 3D and beautiful, but it's nice, I guess. So yeah, I'll see you guys in another one. Bye. -bye.